On this edition of Dispatch, your layout photos, the question of the week, and a big shout out, starting right now. You're watching Dispatch, the variety show for model railroaders. I'm Roy Smith. Thanks for joining me. As I said, we have your layout photos, the question of the week, and a big shout out coming up during the show. And at the end of the show, I will give you a sneak preview of my next layout video. Be sure to stick around for it. First, though, I want to announce that this episode of Dispatch happens to be my 300th video on YouTube. To celebrate this milestone, there's coffee and donuts and fireworks. Come on down and join the celebration. One other thing, I'd like to thank all of you for your get well wishes during my recent cataract surgery. Now I can actually see my microscopic N-scale trains. Okay, first up on Dispatch, your layout photos. Don't you just love to look at other people's layouts? Well, you can right here on every episode of Dispatch. Here's how it works. You all post photos of your layouts in our Facebook group. Then I bring your photos over here to Dispatch to share with everyone during the show. And here are the photos you posted since the last episode of Dispatch.
After the show, I hope you will go over to the Facebook group and post a photo of your layout there. Why? Because it's fun to share the hobby and we want to see what you're doing on your layout. I will put a link to the group down below where you can post your photos. As always, you'll know you're at the right place when you see this photo at Echo Canyon on my layout. And now it's time for our question of the week. Here's this week's question. Have you ever switched from one scale to another in the hobby? If so, why did you switch? Here's how you responded. As kids, many of us started out with Lionel O-gauge trains on a 4x8 sheet of plywood or homosote. Later on, as teenagers or young adults, many of us switched to HO scale. And after that, many of us switched to N scale. Well, that's what happened to me, and to my surprise, it happened to many of you as well. Of course, a few of you switched to Z or G scale at some point. Some of you tried various scales before settling on the one you now model in. And some of you said you never switched from one scale to another, but you do own more than one scale. Those of you who never switched say that you're happy with the scale you're modeling in and would not consider switching to a different scale. So why have a majority of you switched from one scale to another? Well, here's how you explained it. In many cases, it was because you experienced either an increase or a decrease in the space available for your layout. Perhaps you moved to a bigger or a smaller home, or perhaps your kids had grown up and left home, resulting in more space. In most cases, you either switch from HO to N scale or vice versa, from N to HO scale. Clearly, each of these scales has advantages. For example, those of you who switched to HO scale said that it is better suited for operations. It offers greater product availability, and you mentioned that it is better suited for failing eyesight or shaky hands. As for those of you who switched to N scale, you most often mentioned space as a big issue. Many of you felt that you could get twice as much railroad in the same space. You said N scale is better suited for running long trains through vast expanses of scenery, and you felt that you could now safely switch to N-Scale because its quality and availability have greatly improved in recent decades. Well, there is no such thing as the best scale. Like everything else in model railroading, the scale you choose to model in is a matter of personal preference. I'd like to thank all of you who responded to this question. Now, we do have a question for the coming episode of Dispatch, and here it is. Do you feel that you spend more time than you should watching model railroad videos instead of working on your layout? A big thanks to Charles Dempsey for inspiring this question. Now be sure to post your answers to the question down below in the comments section. Then I will tabulate your answers and discuss the results in the next edition of Dispatch. Again, the question for the coming episode of Dispatch is... Do you feel that you spend more time than you should watching model railroad videos instead of working on your layout? Now it's time for our big shout out. And our big shout out goes to the Wyoming Division Historical Society and its incredible HO scale Wyoming Division layout. The Wyoming Division is a large multi-level club layout located in a dedicated 50 by 75 foot building in Cornville, Arizona. Cornville is just southwest of one of the most beautiful places I've ever been, namely Sedona, Arizona. The layout faithfully models the Union Pacific Railroad from Cheyenne, Wyoming to Ogden, Utah. It is set in 1957. That means you can see the huge steam engines of the Union Pacific, its turbines, and its early diesels running on the layout. Of course, the Wyoming division includes the Evanston subdivision running from Green River, Wyoming to Ogden, Utah, which is what I am modeling. All right, let's take a look at the Wyoming division. The Wyoming division model railroad a privately owned model railroad built in the small town of Cornville, Arizona, just a few miles southwest of the world-famous town of Sedona, 
in Oak Creek Canyon. Details of the development of this beautiful model railroad empire can be found on the Wyoming Division Model Railroad website as it's listed in the details section of this video on YouTube. Our tour today starts with train number 4019 as it's leaving the Cheyenne, Wyoming freight yards with a manifest freight heading west toward Laramie. The locomotive assigned to this is a legendary big boy, 4884 steam locomotive, originally built by the American Locomotive Company for the Union Pacific to tame the steep grades of the Wasatch Mountain Range between Green River, Wyoming, and Ogden, Utah. I hope you will go take a look at the rest of that video and other videos about the Wyoming Division. I will put the link to the club's website down below and you can do a YouTube search for the Wyoming Division. You will get a bunch of hits for videos filmed by various people. In particular, you should watch the three-part video recently filmed by Ken Mead and Alan Montgomery. You will find links to the three parts on the website. To all of you who have been involved in building and in filming this incredible layout, Thank you for sharing it with us. Very nicely done. Now here's that announcement that I promised at the beginning of the show. I'm working on several layout videos that will soon appear on this channel. The first of them will be called Six Unexpected Things on My Layout. Way back in February 2018, I uploaded a video in which I described three things that had appeared on my layout things that I thought would never be there. Well, since then, three more things have appeared on my layout that I never expected. So it's time for an update. In this forthcoming update, I will tell you what all of those six things are and why I hadn't expected them to be on my layout. And in the future, you can expect to see videos about operations and a possible expansion of my layout that will double the length of my main line. I don't want you to miss any of these upcoming videos, so be sure to subscribe to this channel if you haven't done it yet. And if you still haven't seen my latest layout video, it's called a caboose on my modern era layout. In the past, I said that you would never see a caboose on my modern era and scale layout. Well, now there is a caboose, and it appeared on my layout suddenly and unexpectedly. How did it get there? And what's it doing there? I answered these questions in this video. I hope you will go watch it after Dispatch ends. And don't forget, there are hundreds of other videos for you to watch right here on this channel. You can go to my videos page and browse around. I will put a link to it down below. Or you can watch these videos over here just by clicking on them. Well, thanks for letting me share the world's most amazing hobby with you here on Dispatch. As always, I'm Roy Smith. Until next time, happy railroading.